Supreme leader of Iran Ayatollah Ali Khamenei on Tuesday claimed that Israel has faced a military and intelligence defeat beyond repair amid the ongoing declared war between Israeli forces and Gaza-based Hamas militants. Khamenei said he is proud of Palestine and supports Palestinians but denied Iran's involvement in the Hamas attack on Israel on Saturday that killed hundreds of Israelis and foreigners. Khamenei added that those who link his regime to Hamas attack on Israel were mistaken even if his country continues to back Palestine and its fighting against the Jewish state. In his first televised speech since the attack, Khamenei said, "Weak is the hands of those who planned the attack on the Zionist regime. This destructive earthquake has destroyed some critical structures in Israel which will not be repaired easily. The Zionist regime's own actions are to blame for this disaster." said Khamenei. Khamenei's statement comes after the US's top general warned Iran not to get involved in the crisis and said he did not want the conflict to broaden. Iran makes no secret of its backing for Hamas and has applauded the weekend attack while denying any involvement. We want to send a pretty strong message. We do not want this to broaden and the idea is for Iran to get the message loud and clear. General Charles Q Brown, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff told reporters traveling with him to Brussels. Israel said earlier on Tuesday it had re-established control over the Gaza border and was planning mines where militants had toppled the barrier during their bloody weekend assault after another night of relentless Israeli air raids on the enclave. The US said on Monday Iran was complicit in Hamas assault on Israel though it said it had no intelligence or evidence pointing to Tehran's direct participation. The US military is surging fresh supplies to air defenses, munitions and other security assistance to Israel to help it respond to an unprecedented weekend attack by Hamas. On Sunday, the Pentagon announced that it was sending an aircraft carrier strike group closer to Israel. Iran has long backed the Hamas group which controls the Gaza Strip and rejects Israel's right to exist. The attacks on Israel by Hamas militants that began on Saturday have killed more than 900 Israelis, mostly civilians. At least 1500 Palestinians have also died. Vowing retaliation in a televised address, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that the response had only started and what we will do to the enemy will echo down through generations. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.